Hey guys, I just got back from our local Five Below store and I cannot wait to show you everything I saw, which I'll insert next. And then at the end, I'll show you the things I actually bought. So stick around. They have a pretty large selection of incense, incense holders, and scented candles. I haven't been in here in a really long time and they actually had moved around some of the displays. And this is a larger selection than I remember them having before. Let's go around to the other side and take a look at all these scented candles. This just seems like a better selection than the last time I was here. And on the other side of the scented candles is pet clothing. This display was not with the other pet supplies, so it was just a little bit out of place. But I guess you got to put these display racks wherever you have room for them, right? I'm going to admit I was quite surprised by this. I've never seen a ballet bar for sale in a store like this. And then there's a floor sweeper, you know, like an iRobot type of thing. Never thought I'd see one of those in here. This diamond shaped shelf is really cute, but I'm not in the market for a shelf right now. I really wanted to video in the hair and makeup section because it's huge, but it is so crowded in here I can't. They have some super cute blankets, comforter sheets, the shelving units, and shoe racks that would be great for college dorm rooms. They even have the washable floor runner rugs, which are perfect for a college dorm room. Let me go over here and show you this other thing that surprised me that I guess might be okay for little kids. I don't know. It's a foldable balance beam. I'm not sure how safe that would be. It's too crowded over here. Let's go ahead and head over to the pet supply section. The whole reason I came up here today was to check out their pet supply section, and it does not disappoint. They have the little plastic tubs of doggy poo bags. Those are always a necessary item. They have some really cute little doggy bandanas. Check out these silicone pet licking mats and these silicone collapsible bowls. Sorry about moving the camera so fast like that. I was trying to video some other items and some people stepped into my view. I'm really impressed with the pet supply section. Most of the items seem to be for dogs, but there are a few things for cats too. We we'll have to come up here a few more times and see if there's any day of the week when it's less busy so I can get better video of everything. Let me show you the baskets over here. I love these for organizing items in the bathrooms. These are hand braided rugs. I love these rugs. These are the types of rugs my grandmother always had in her house when I was growing up. It is just so crowded in here. I got to work my way up to the front and uh, go ahead and check out for today. They carry the scrub daddies and scrub mommies too for any of you that might be interested in those. Okay guys, so now that I showed you everything that they had, I'm going to show you what I bought, which was not a lot. I went there, I found what I needed to find, and that's exactly what I bought. First up, I just bought this cute little incense holder. I already had one, but my son needed one to take back to college with him, so of course I let him have mine. The whole reason I went to our Five Below store was because I wanted to find some silicone pet licking mats. Now, our local pet stores had them, but they wanted $10 to $15 for a little silicone mat. And I was like, I'm not going to pay that. So, I searched online to see if any other stores carried them locally. And all I found was that the Five Below store 25 miles away had them in stock. And I said, well, I'm going to take a chance and see if ours has those pet licking mats or not because I didn't even know if ours had any pet section at all because I'll be honest, I haven't been there in at least 10 months. This is not somewhere I shop all of the time just because I don't think about it. But I went and let me show you what I got. See that? $3 for a pet licking mat. That's right, $3 instead of 10 to $15. Now the ones I saw at the pet store were round and they might have been maybe a half inch larger than these. But still, $3 versus $10 or $15, this was well worth the trip for me. So I got a yellow one and I got a gray one. I have two and they're dishwasher safe. 
So the thing I like the most about these is they have the little suction cups on the back and they'll stick to the side of the bathtub when you're bathing your dogs. You just smear some peanut butter on there, stick this thing to the side of the tub, and while you're shampooing your dog, they'll sit there and lick the peanut butter off of this mat, unless your dog doesn't like peanut butter. And I can't imagine a dog that does not like peanut butter, but hey, you never know, right? Anyway, if you're looking for a really good deal, then I urge you to check out your Five Below stores, okay? That's it for today, guys. I'll see you the next time.